In this beginner tutorial, I am going to show you how to use the bins or folders in Primary Pro. You can either drag and drop your bin structure direct into the Primary Pro project section where you have them immediately there, or you can create your own ones. So let's start to create our own bin structure and color them so we have organized project. For that, I delete the just created bins and click here on this little folder icon to create our first bin. You see it created a bin. You now have the opportunity to name it. In our example, I name it camera footage A. Then we can create the next bin and name it camera footage B. For example, if you are shooting with two cameras. Next, you can create another two bins. For example, a music bin where you put all your music inside and also a sound effects bin where you put all your sound effects files. You see all have the same brown color now. What's nice, you can also change the color of a bin. Just make a right click and go to label and change the color what you want. Let's change all the colors now. The changing of the color helps you when you have a huge project with many files. If you get used to it, you can find your own style of bins so you will become well organized, which helps you to edit faster. If you want to import your footage or other files, just go to the place where you stored them and drag and drop them into our just created bins. You see them now in your bin and see how clean it's looking. Change the view here. Now you can highlight the clips you want and drag and drop them into your timeline. Try this steps in your next project and see how fast you can edit. You will not search for anything in your project if you have well-named bins. It's also possible to make subfolder. Click on a bin and press our bin icon to create another one. For example, a music intro folder. In the detailed view, you see our just created bin as a sub bin. We can also create a bin for our sequence so even our sequence is organized. This helps you if you are working with many sequences. Just drag and drop the sequence in our new folder. Make sure to like and subscribe to my YouTube channel. Also, please check out my presets where you can easy drag and drop transitions and effects. Every pack has a detailed tutorial how to use them. You can find the link in the description.